Hello everyone, so today this is going to be part 2 of our turtle race game with the turtle module in Python. So in our last part, we finished up the track for the turtles. Now in this part, we're going to have four turtles racing against each other. We've already created the tracks with four lanes, so let's... From uh, where we left off, let's hide the uh, previous turtle pen. So let's hide turtle, hide turtle, t dot hide, uh, turtle, parentheses, and now what we could do now is create each of our turtles. So we want to create turtle one. Uh, we can have a variable turtle one is equal to turtle dot turtle. This will just create a new turtle called T1, which stands for turtle one. We, let's raise the pen upwards so that when we move it, it doesn't draw on the board. And let's set the position to negative 160, 10. We can actually change the shape of the turtle to an actual turtle instead of a arrow like before. And let's have each tur turtle have their own color. So let's have this one uh, be red. So this is turtle one. If we, if we run this and save it, you see here, uh, there's a turtle shape and then the color is red at that position. Now that we've created turtle one, we can create three more turtles, but instead of writing it all out, we can just copy and paste it like I'm about to do. Turtle one, so turtle two. Oh, oops, control C. Turtle two. Now we just want to set the rest of these variables to turtle two also, so that we don't mix it up with turtle one. Now turtle three. Turtle. Again, we could change, we could leave all the shapes to turtle, but we want their starting position to all be different. So instead of 10, we could have a change of 25. Since each lane has a change of y value by 25, we want to have a change of y value of 25 for the turtles. Uh, so if it was 10 before, a change in 25 in the y coordinate will be instead negative 15 if we are subtracting. So then this would be negative 40 and then negative 65. And what I mean by that, let me run this, is when we create other turtles, we want them to be in the middle-ish of each lane. So since these two lines are spaced out by 25 pixels, we want these two turtles to also be spaced out by 25 pixels. But we saw that they're all the same color, which is kind of bland. So let's have this one, turtle two be green, turtle three, let's say blue or something, and then turtle four is yellow. Now each turtle is unique with a different color and you know, different position. What we could do now is we want each turtle to race. So we want movement, right? So we have our final line is 140 uh, pixels to the right. So when each turtle crosses this line, you know that's when they finish. So we'll, how we can have each turtle moving forward is using a while loop. So while the, turtle, the turtle's x position is less than this line, the while loop is going to keep running. So how we do this is while Let's say we want turtle one dot x coordinate. This part lets us access the x coordinate of the turtle is less than the line. Then it's gonna everything inside of this while loop is gonna keep running. So if the x coordinate is above is greater than the line, it's gonna stop running. It's gonna stop yeah stop running. But then we also want to do this for the rest of the turtle or turtle two dot x coordinate is less than line or 
turtle three dot dot x coordinate is less than one. Or again, turtle four dot x coordinate is less than one. When any one of these, so if just one of these turtles crosses the line, it's gonna keep uh, running because of these or statements. These ors. If every single um, turtle crosses the line, then the while loop is gonna stop running. You know, so while it is running, we want each turtle to move forward. So let me just write this out. Turtle two dot forward, turtle three dot forward, turtle four dot forward. But if we just create a variable like like a number of five for turtle one and six for turtle two, you know, turtle two is gonna win every single time since it's gonna move forward by a greater amount. So we want this to be a, as random as possible. So how we do that is we can use another module, random. So import random, which basically allows us to generate a random number from a certain range. So if we do random dot rand int, it's gonna choose a random integer from these two parameters, one and five. So this is gonna choose a random integer from one and five. You could change this, it could be, you know, 0, 5, uh, 1, 120, or something, but we're just going to leave it as 1 to 5. And then for the rest, random dot rand int 5, random dot rand int 1, 5, random dot rand int 1, 5. Okay, so they're all going to move forward a random amount, like while this loop is running. So what happens when every single turtle crosses the line? We want to keep track of which turtle has gone first place and which turtle has gone fourth place. So how do we do this? We know that the turtle that reaches the line, the latest, like the last turtle, is going to be last place, and then the turtle who reaches the line first is going to be first place. We can also just determine the x coordinates, so the value of the x coordinates. If the value of the x coordinates for the turtle in first place is going to be the greatest, and the value of the x coordinates of the turtle in last place is going to be the lowest. So if we want to decide ranking, we can create a list outside of the while loop. Finals list is equal to turtle one dot x coordinate make sure you have these parentheses turtle two dot x coordinate turtle three dot x coordinate or turtle four dot x coordinate this is gonna keep track of every turtle's uh x coordinates basically if you don't know what a list is it just keeps track of different data um that in a list which you can extract from or add to it. Something else we want to do is you know have a dictionary. A dictionary is also like a list, but instead of just having one value, uh, you can have two, which is called a key pair. So the key is to the left of a colon, so turtle one dot x coordinate, and then the value is to the right, like the color. When we call this key, it's gonna output the value so when we call turtle1.x coordinate the the literal coordinate it's going to call it red we want to do this for the rest so turtle2.x coordinate i'm pretty sure this was green green yeah turtle3.x coordinate is blue turtle4.x coordinate is yellow all right so you know let's just run this let's let's see how the race looks so far you have four turtles you can see they're incrementing by little amount randomly and when the last turtle reaches the end the y loop stops and then you see blue is the furthest with the greatest x coordinates the greatest x value so it's first and then yellow is last it seems i spelled uh, x coordinate wrong okay. x coordinate wrong 
Um, now, what we want to do is, since we don't know which order or which turtle wins first, how we want to figure this out is finals list is equal to sorted finals list. What sorted does is that it sorts the list from least to greatest. So you know that when it sorts it, the value in the zeroth indexed is going to be the uh, lowest x coordinate, therefore last place. And the value in the last um, index is going to be is going to be first place. So what if we want to make this easier to read or easier to extract information from? We could reverse it. Instead of reverse is equal to true, we use reverse is equal to true. This basically flips the list. So now the zero with index is going to be first place. And that will make it easier when we're trying to display, I'm sorry, display the scoreboard. So now we have our ranking board. This is basically just going to show each turtle in which place they got. So let's have our pen, our original pen. Let's raise it up. Let's change the color back to black before it was white because we drew the uh, lines. And then we can set the position of the pen to position of the pen to negative 60. 200 and then let's write ranking board and then we can align it to the left instead of the center font is equal to none and the size is 12 so that's just uh, changing the font size of the text we can now set the position or now since we wrote Ranking board. Let's see how this looks. They're all moving in different speeds. It looks like red is winning actually. And uh, we have a ranking board at the top. Ooh, this is tough. Green or blue? I think I think uh, green is the little head. I don't know. But you see how ranking board is at the top. That's good. And now we want to write first, second, third, and fourth place. So what we could do is first place, have t dot set the position. We want to set the position a little lower than 200. Since that was where the ranking board was, we could do 180. Let's write first place is plus and then uh, we want we want to find a rank first of all so if this is rank one so rank is equal to remember in the finals list the since we reversed the list the zero with index or the first thing in the list in the list is going to be first place so finals list zero this is how we extract information from a list we just uh, have brackets in the index of the information we want. So plus, uh, we want to find the color. So which color one? Finals dictionary, and then the rank. So what this does is that it finds inside this dictionary. When we call this key, it's gonna find the value. So let's say it's red. Then red is gonna then red is gonna be first. And then we can align the text is equal to left. So this is our first one. This was our first place. We can copy and paste this for second place. Second, third, and fourth. Second, third. Again, we don't want them to be at the same position, so 60, 160, uh, 140, uh, 120, yeah, that's fine. Now, if we just do this, if we leave it like this, 
let's see what text is shown. Okay, you see, okay, good. Well, it was, um, we do see four instances of first place red. That's because we haven't actually changed the text. But you see the ranking board is working. We see four separate turtle places, but we have to change what's written in each uh, string. Now, instead of first place, this is going to be second place. Second place. Third place. Fourth place. And, you know, second place, instead of the zero with index, it's going to be the next one. So one. Third place is going to be the next one. So two. Fourth place is going to be the next one. So three. In a list, the indexes go from zero, then to the length of the list minus one. So let's say there are four things in a list. To access the last thing in the list, you could just do either negative one, like inside the brackets, like in here, negative one. Or you could do the length of the list, which will be, in this case, four minus one, which is three. So now that we have, yeah, now that we have basically uh, edited the string and the value we're getting from the list, Everything should work, basically. So let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. Unless I like mistype something. It seems like green is actually winning. Okay, we got green, yellow, blue, and red is in the last place. So yeah, that's it. We finish our ranking. This should be our final pro uh, final project. If you have any problems, put it in the comments. I'll try to solve them. And this is our turtle race game. Some things you want to watch out for, you know, typing, I mean, spelling correctly. Uh, that's very important. Not missing your parentheses. Very, very important. So this should be the end of the project. If you guys have feedback or you guys want another game just a suggestion put put in the comments and then i'll definitely look at them i'll see you next time uh, i decide to make something